Welcome everyone to the Electric Coach channel. What you see before you are bases. This base is a buzz ball speed diamond base. This is a Miggle rookie base. And this is a Miggle original frosty total team control base. This video is going to cover my perspective on how I tweak these bases to perform. I use a lot of tools to tweak my bases. These two pairs of pliers are the primary tools that I use. These are uh, smooth jaw needle nose pliers and these pliers are smooth jaw uh, duckbill pliers. Before I begin the tweak process I first test run the base to see what it does straight from the pack. This is the front of the base and this is the rear. So this base should go in some forward direction. Let's see what happens. Okay, this base is running backwards, although I have it facing to go up the table. So now we're going to begin the process of getting this base to move in a forward direction. The reason why this base failed the run test is because these prongs are poorly aligned. As you can see, there are eight prongs on this Buzz Ball Speed Diamond base. So using these needle nose pliers, I will go to each one of these prongs and straighten them and sweep them slightly to the rear of the base, which is down here. And this is the front of the base. So forward movement is this way. So I want to go here to the business side of the base and work with each one of these bristles or prongs, if you will. So now I have the base in both hands. So I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and I'm going to go to my bristles like so. And I'm going to slightly sweep them back. And I'm going to try I'm going to straighten each one of these bristles to get some uniformed alignment. So I'm going to push them back a little bit like so using my needle nose pliers. And sometimes you can use your fingers, but as you can see, you lose visual of what you're doing. So these needle nose pliers are perfect for this type of work. So I'll do this until I'm satisfied with the arrangement of the bristles. Grab them like so and curl them down a little bit. Because all I'm trying to do right now is to get this base to move correctly. Okay, I've now have these prongs in some form of uniformed alignment. I'm going to run test this base again to see if we can just get forward movement from it. I'm now ready to perform the run test on this base. Let's see how much progress we've made so far. Excellent run. Excellent run. Now that we have the base moving forward, the next steps are to test for base resistance, and speed. This first test is going to be a resistance test. I've brought out my Darrell Revis figure to match it up against this newly tweaked base. More than likely the base is not going to win against this uh, Darrell Revis figure. But I just want to see where it stands right now. Let's see what happens. As you can see, 
the Darrell Reeves figure pushed the base out of the frame. So we have a lot of work to do. We're not out of the woods yet. Just because the base moves, it doesn't mean that we're safe. There are no weights on these figures. This is pure figure, pure base. This demonstration is going to show how a receiver is supposed to hold his ground at the line of scrimmage. I brought in my Philadelphia Eagle figure, Deshaun Jackson, to help us with this demonstration against Darrell Rivas. Let's see what happens. That's how it's supposed to look. So I want this base to perform like this Deshaun Jackson base here. If I can get this base to perform this way, I'll be happy with that. Now that we know that this base lacks resistance and speed, we're now going to begin to tweak to achieve those goals. And we do that with the use of these duckbill pliers. I simply take the pliers and I grab both, both prongs here on this side of the base. I like to start with the back of the base because that's where you get the most resistance from. I simply take the pliers, grabbing the prongs, not the whole prong. I want to leave some prong available there. So you want to leave some open. You don't want to go all the way to the base, to, to the bottom of the prong. And I squeeze. And when I do this, I flatten out that prong. I smash that prong as flat as I can get it because I want to get more of the tips of this prong onto the surface of the board to help it resist. Then I go to the other side and I do the same thing. Grab those two prongs and I squeeze them. I don't want to grab the whole prong. You can pull the prongs also. You want to. You can also slightly pull the prongs as you squeeze them as well. But for right now, I just want to smash them. I want to smash them down, flatten them out, and then we're going to do a resistance test here to see what we have now. Now that I've tweaked the rear prongs of this new base, I want to do another resistance test against the uh, Darrell Reeves figure. Let's see what happens. I like what I'm seeing already. This base is still not fully tweaked, but it's performing better now than it did in the last test. We're going to move to the front prongs of that base to see if we can get it to respond better. Okay, now that we've flattened the bottom prongs here at the at the back of the base. We now want to go to these prongs here at the front of the base. And the same thing we did with the back ones, we're going to use these duckbill pliers. We're going to grab these prongs in the front and we're going to flatten them. We want to squeeze them and flatten them out. Then we're going to go to the next side Grab both of these prongs and do the same thing. And the reason why you don't want to grab the entire prong is because you don't want to weaken the stability of it. Because if you weaken the prong all the way down to its end, it'll cause the base to collapse. We don't want that. So we just want to work with the business tips of the prongs to get those nice and soft and supple. I'm going to flatten them again. You also can heat your, your pliers using a candle warmer, and that will help to slightly melt the plastic, causing the plastic to hold its tweak longer. Because the way I'm doing it now, if I left this base, if, if I allowed this base to sit overnight tomorrow, these prongs will come unflattened. The, the plastic will 
return somewhat to its previous shape. So you might want to warm your warm your pliers using a candle warmer to help soften and permanently flatten these prongs. So now I'm going to do another resistance test and I'm going to do another run test to again test our progress. Okay, now that we've flattened the prongs on both ends of the base, we're now at another resistance test. Let's see what happens. Did you see that? Without using any heat, without even deflashing the tips of those prongs, this base is now beating the rail Revis. There's still more work that needs to be done. We're going to run a uh, test run to see if the if the speed of the base has increased any, and to see if we and, and to see if the base is still running a great distance on the board. Okay, we're now ready to do another run test. Our resistance test is showing us great promise. Let's see how well the base runs. Not very fast, but it's consistent. The base has run basically 95 yards for me, and I still haven't tweaked the base fully. I like what I'm seeing already. So we're going to we're going to move on to the other two bases and we're going to come back to this one later. I'm Mo Rob. Thanks for watching.